after completing few instruments uh, this video we are posting uh, to finish few scopes in use in ENT uh, first we should have a look at these two scopes one is esophageal scope other is bronchoscope don't uh, judge with length of the scope these scopes are available in various lengths for example you can see this is 25 centimeters so adult esophageal scope is 40 centimeters or even sometimes 45 centimeters so don't judge the scope with its length similarly this is a pediatric bronchoscope this is not an adult bronchoscope why i am telling these two uh, instrument because sometimes they may appear similar but how to differentiate these two instrument if the lumen is similar you can see vents are there in case of bronchoscope because in case of bronchoscopy we cannot intubate patient bronchoscopy is being done suppose in under GA we cannot intubate patient so there is a vent available in this bronchoscope for jet ventilation jet ventilation means pressure ventilation will give through this uh, uh, port and through these vents so anesthetist will be there they will attach their jet ventilation probe here they will give jet ventilation in intermediate uh, in between they will keep on ventilating the lungs this thing is not needed in esophagoscope hence there is there are no vents in esophagoscope you can see both are having vents for light source this is additionally having a light carrier what we like how we saw in laryngoscope otherwise uh, these two instrument. Other thing you can note that there are markings in esophagoscope. Though in this uh, bronchoscope markings are given, but markings are not needed in bronchoscope because when we are entering in trachea or bronchus, we can see various landmarks like we, when we are crossing larynx, we know larynx is crossed, then we reach carina, we reach secondary bronchioles, we know where we are. But in case of esophagoscopy, we don't know. Once we enter esophagus, Esophagus is a blind uh, channel with very little uh, landmarks. So to identify, suppose there are various constructions in esophagus scope, you cannot just differentiate just on the basis how they are looking. So what we tend to do, we introduce the scope, we see various landmarks, we see how in, inside we are in the esophagus. That is why markings are very important in esophagus scope, though these are not that important in bronchoscope. So this is esophagoscope, bronchoscope. Another important scope I should tell you is nasal endoscope. This is adult nasal endoscope. This is the part which goes into the nose. This is what we hold in our hand. This is for light carrier. This is eyepiece from where we look or from where we attach camera. Important point, uh, this is approximately 18 centimeter long. The diameter is 4 millimeters. In case of adult uh, nasal endoscope, it is 4 millimeters. In case of pediatrics endoscopes, this is 2.7 millimeters. Now, important thing to understand about endoscope that how will you differentiate what endoscope they have given? This green ring. This is basically color coding of endoscope. Every endoscope will have similar or same color coding. Any green coding means 0 degree. So these both endoscopes are 0 degree endoscopes. Only difference is this is adult endoscope, this is pediatric endoscope, this is 4 millimeter diameter, this is 2.7 millimeter diameter. Otherwise, looking at this green, I will understand this is 0. So you need not always see the end to know what degree endoscope is there. You just see uh, the ring, you will know which uh, degree endoscope is there. Though it is always written also over the endoscope, but Suppose we this all gets uh, wiped off, we can identify the endoscope with color coding. Similarly, I am having other endoscopes also. Red means 30 degree. You can see the end is 30 degree tilted. So red color coding means 30 degree. Black color coding means 45 degree. Another endoscope which right now I am not having is 70 degree which is having yellow coding. So you should always remember green 0 degree, red 30 degree, black 45 degree, yellow 70 degree. So these are nasal endoscopes. Uh, most commonly used endoscope is 0 degree. This is used both in diagnostic as well as therapeutic purposes. Uh, all the surgeries we usually do with 0 degree for certain inaccessible areas. For example, if you want to look in tear wall of maxillary sinus during pest surgery or you want to 
have a look at uh, frontal recess or frontal sinus we tend to use uh, 70 degree sometimes even 45 degrees used so 45 70 degrees are sometimes used but always 0 degree is the endoscope we start with so these are nasal endoscopes another endoscope just i want to show you is this is a flexible laryngoscope similar instrument if this flexible part is longer that is bronchoscope so this is flexible laryngoscope you can see this is eyepiece this is to adjust your focus and suppose you are attaching a camera to adjust the focus this is part for light source to be attached uh, fiber optic cable to be attached you can see one knob here which i can move once i move the knob you can see what happens to the tip so down up so once i introduce this scope in the uh, nose or in the larynx if i want to direct my scope i will use this knob to move the tip of the laryngoscope so this is fiber optic laryngoscope similar scope if it is longer that is fiber optic bronchoscope so these are basic bronchoscopes be uh, basic scopes which i used to, which i wanted to complete thank you